Are you wanting to data log while you drive or record a data log without having your laptop? And you have something similar like a Cobra and a Bluetooth? Well, using just the phone, tablet, Android device, we can do just that. So let's start the car. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've dragged the file to the desktop from the phone. It's basically just in the tuner view folder whenever you're in the device. Uh, then what you'll have here is uh, an extra window that pops up after you load the data log in. So you can see right here that Everything is all squished because we have a small screen. So we'll just go up to data log here at the top. We're going to say import tuner view slash raw data. We're going to grab the tuner view file and open it. Uh, filter out anything below TPS 10. And then we'll come over here to our data log table window. So this is going to be an older school looking way of to data log but you can at least grab some information from your car while you're out if you do have um, your uh, offset correct here in HTS you'll get your uh, air fuel ratios throughout the whole RPM range and your map uh, so we're seeing it's kind of uh, a little all over the place. This is a car is running on a random map that I had. Uh, not random, but it's one of the many steps that I took. So, uh, going on here, you can keep looking at things. So, injector, you can look at if there is any boost duty. You can see how much you're pressing the gas pedal. Uh, then you have your analogs uh, you can see how hot the car is getting at certain times uh, then there's same thing with the IAT uh, pretty sure you get it I pretty much just went through all these all of the timing that the car saw um, that it recorded through that a little bit 
I did do a pretty long recording, so that's why everything is so filled up here. Uh, I, I had went down the road and turned around and then turned around again and uh, because there was a car so that led to this whole table filling up which is fine it does help still log and you can go in and change things you just have to do it side by side it doesn't actually play the log like it normally does up here in HTS because of the timestamp uh, you so basically you know D14 and slide this over so it fits and then do the same thing here and uh, so we have 30 50 30 50 negative 7 4 negative 7 4 so you know in this cell we need to add a little fuel because it showed a 15 7 if we're trying to target something that's a little more rich so you would just click there and um, you can also see that this whole group is um, in the same range so you would probably just select all these over here and then increase your fuel and uh, keep working on it there so same thing these things right here gets those two right there and then you see it's gonna start raising it's gonna keep going up because most of these need fuel because you're in higher load and it's still reading at a 14 uh, but the offsets not set so um, that's why we're seeing a weird number so don't pay attention to this tune this is all an example uh, but that just gives you an idea of how to use the data log uh, side by side uh, you can make changes and grab a data log without having to have say like a daemon that doesn't onboard log and things like that uh, you can have I'm not sure what I accidentally did there but uh, yeah you can have all this data in front of you just from grabbing a short log uh, by basically what you would do is you go out into the car hit record do a rip stop record and then you can keep doing that and you'll have multiple files in the phone and then you can load them one at a time into the app here and compare it to your tune and make some changes uh, it's just a way to do it if you don't have your computer with you so or if you you know you forgot it at the track or you want to send the file off uh, to someone and you are having trouble hooking your laptop up or you don't have a place for it in the car or whatever the reason is you can take this file and send it to someone remotely you can use it yourself uh, whatever you got to do so if it's there's a space in between uh, the time that it gets used so what uh, it's a log and that's mainly the purpose of this video is to show you how to get a log without having a USB cable hooked up uh, whenever you're say in a pinch Say you're running down the road and your car's just like running like super crap. You can then get a log and maybe check your ignition and then see that it's retarding a whole bunch or something at that time. And then maybe you need to check into something on your car. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is just a quick video on how to use TunerView to grab a data log CSV file and insert it into HCS and just go through all of the tables that it grabs and use them against your table and your tune here to make changes. It can seem kind of slow or old school or something, but it's a way to get a log without having your computer available and so on, like I said. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.